Hello guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura Xani and welcome back to Magical Mondays on my channel where we discuss everything Harry Potter related. Now, today you could be mistaken by the hair, my nails and the fact that my wand looks like Bellatrix and also my jumper that we are talking something Slytherin related, Draco or Bellatrix. No, we're not actually. We are here to discuss my Harry Potter playlist. Now, I have been thinking about character playlists for ages and Harry is the first one that springs to mind and basically I did two and they'll be linked up there and down here um, where you can go watch them again and obviously this um, playlist I think are still up, maybe not for the first Harry one but definitely for the second Harry one the, the, the playlist is still on Spotify. So basically I didn't want to post it in the description the reasons behind the songs because I just thought no one really reads the description and I thought it would just take too much time and then last night it hit me why not do a video explaining it so this is what we're here for so strap yourself in and I'll explain my choices behind each song so starting with the first Harry playlist I can put this down now just realized I have my trusty thing here. So the original playlist that I did, um, the first song was Fireflies by I Will Say. Now, my reasoning behind that, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> That's the only one I didn't write it out for, the first original playlist I didn't actually write the song ideas out like why I would have chosen that song I did it for the second one so this could be a bit kind of thingy but so fireflies just like the song the meaning behind it I don't know it's unknown to me the phoenix by fallout boy was the second song <laughs> Of course that's a bit self-explanatory because <laughs> Harry rises like a phoenix and we all know Fox was his best pal so of course that had to be in there. The third one is Fight Song by Rachel Platten. Which is a really good song and I think my reasoning behind this was that Harry's a bit kind of like this is my fight song and it's like I'm gonna make it to the end, I'm gonna make it to the end, Voldemort ain't got nothing on me. Um, that sort of vibe. <laughs> um, the fourth song was Eyes Open by Taylor Swift, which is actually from the Hunger Games. And I think that was kind of about like, his friends and kind of saying that we're gonna get through this like we just need to keep our eyes open and like we've we've got this number five was under pressure by queen and david bowie um of course my reasoning behind this was that I wanted a David Bowie song on the playlist but also Harry's under a lot of pressure and I feel like under pressure is a good song. Also Freddie Mercury by Icon, Harry Potter also by Icon. You see where I was going with that. <laughs> Number six was Dare You To Move by Switchfoot. Um, I also was doing this obviously whilst I was trying to get the Drarry playlist together and I thought that Harry was like, I think that was just a sad song that I wanted on the playlist and I think I'd just watched a walk to remember before I'd done it, I can't remember. Um, number seven, eight, nine, yeah. Number seven is You Found Me by The Free. I found God, 
and I love that song to death and I think my reasoning behind that with Harry was that basically like in his darkest moments people have found him not Dumbledore because Dumbledore can suck it not a Dumbledore fan here by the way just letting you guys know um I think it was just kind of like you found me so maybe towards his like Hermione and Ron or his second family like also I think kind of slightly towards Draco but I could be wrong I don't know what my thinking with that was Number eight was Explosions by Ellie Goulding. Which I think was towards the final battle, I think my idea for that was. Number nine is Bones by Mr. and Mrs. Bones um by miss miss mister sorry um i think that's a really kind of dark song so i'm thinking more towards the final battle as well and finally number 10 is devil's backbones by the civil wars i think that was also just um about harry uh, I think that was more about Harry falling in love with Draco, to be honest with you. Now, on to Harry's second edition. So, this is a lot, this is a lot easier to explain because I actually have it written all out. So, the first song on the second playlist is High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. <laughs> And specifically the line, Mama said, fulfill the prophecy, be something greater, go make a legacy, manifest destiny back in the days. Now, of course, that line definitely speaks of Harry and how Harry as a character, you know, he was like fulfilling a prophecy and um, making a legacy of himself. And obviously, destiny was a humongous big part of it. So when that song came out, I was, I'm in love with Pat. You guys know that I'm the huge huge Panic! at the Disco fan but when High Hopes came out and when I first listened to it and first read the lyrics I was like Jesus Christ that's a Harry song so there you go number two is Get Away by George Ezra He's dreaming of a black belt car screaming if you actually listen to the lyrics it is very much like Harry just saying I'm just gonna fuck off and just get away because I just don't want to be here and be a part of any of this Number three is Maybe It's Time by Bradley Cooper, which is from A Star Is Born. Maybe it's time to live your ways down. Maybe it's time to live your ways down. If you guys know, <laughs> A Star Is Born is a very heart gut wrenching film. So I said specifically, nobody knows what waits for the dead. Uh, that line and I'm glad I can't go back to where I came from I'm glad those days are gone gone for good but if I could take spirits from the past and bring them here you know I would you know I would now I think that's more after the final battle post uh, post Hogwarts and I think him thinking back on who he lost Sirius, Remus, Lily, James that sort of thing that whole in like and when it's saying I could take spirits from the past and bring them here I think that's um that's kind of it <laughs> Number four is Loyal by Paloma Faith. Which is a brilliant song and it's very much, I think, Harry talking about Draco. <laughs> if you can't tell, this second playlist was very much with Draddy in mind. Number five is Saviour by George Ezra featuring First Aid Kit. Be And I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. It's about being a saviour. And that is what Harry is called. The saviour or the golden boy. Uh, number six. We do not talk about. I'm not going to mention it. If you've watched the playlist, I do apologise for this song being on it. I'm not going to mention it here. But go on if you are intrigued as to why number six is not getting spoken about or getting mentioned. I didn't realise at the time when I put the song in, um, one did not click 
that the a member of the band did something bad and I was not I didn't put two and two together essentially because I'm not a huge fan of the band didn't really know about the band I just really liked the song because it was in Shally Girl if that helps it was in Shally Girl you might know what I'm talking about now but yeah so we're not even mentioning just skipping over that I didn't even have anything to put with that so we're all good number seven sex by 1975 <laughs> I just personally think that's a song that Harry would listen to. It's not really got anything in the lyrics or anything, but I just think it's a song that Harry himself would actually listen to. Number eight is Promises by Calvin Harris featuring Sam Smith. Um, lyrics are, I make no promises, I can't do golden rings, but I'll give you everything tonight. I just personally feel like this is Harry to Draco. He can't give him a wedding ring, uh, but he can give him, him, himself. He can give Draco himself instead of a golden ring. Uh, number nine is Home by Nick Jonas. <laughs> And this is from a movie called Fernando and um, uh, Ferdinand, I can't remember, something. It's about a bull and I just think that this is when Harry first goes to Hogwarts and he's found his home. And number 10 is Strange Love by Halsey. <laughs> Um, this I've put after Harry and Draco have been exposed as a couple they don't understand how they're, to, uh, how they're together and the lyrics are they think I'm insane they think my lover is strange but I don't have to fucking tell them anything now I also use that with my Martin not Martin Freeman but John Watson playlist I used that song in it as well because I was like very much kind of John and Sherlock John being like oh fuck this so that's why I think that was if you can tell I've taken a lot of this because a lot of the inspirations for the songs that I pick usually come from fan fictions. Some of them obviously come from the movies and the books and how I perceive the character and what the character would listen to or stuff like that. And But also on the other side of it, it's fan fiction that I've read and stories that have kept in my mind that are maybe dry or maybe something else or just the way Harry was portrayed in a fic and that's kind of like stuck in my brain and been like, oh this is something that he would listen to. So yeah, I use a lot of my research for, well, I do put a lot of effort into a lot of this and a lot of it goes in from obviously fan fiction, the books and the movies, so there you go. So guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will be doing Draco's very soon. Will I be in the same outfit? Am I filming it right after this? Most likely, just to get it out of the way. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this magical Monday. See you then. Bye!